Imagine this. In the heart of Turkmenistan's endless Karakum Desert, a scorching abyss yawns open. A fiery funnel, almost 70 meters wide, where the earth burns nonstop. This isn't a myth, not a legend. This is the Darvaza Crater, famously known as the Gateway to Hell, and it's been blazing for over half a century. Its story started in 1971 when Soviet geologists were drilling for gas. The ground collapsed, forming a giant crater from which methane began to escape. Fearing poisoning to people and livestock, the decision was made to ignite the gas, hoping it would burn off quickly. But that calculation turned out to be fatally wrong. 50 years, 3 months, and over 10 days, that's how long this crater has been ablaze, without stopping for a single minute. Day and night, summer and winter, the fire never ceases. It's the longest artificial fire on the planet, created by humans and spiraling out of control. Every single second, pristine natural gas, methane, spews from the Earth's depths and burns. This isn't just a flame, it's unbelievable volumes of invaluable hydrocarbon that could have served humanity. We are literally incinerating the energy of the future, watching it vanish into the atmosphere. Over these decades, by the most conservative estimates, trillions of cubic meters of gas have burned in Darvaz's fire. If you convert that to money, we're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars. That's a loss comparable to the annual GDP of small countries, simply wasted. This amount of gas would be enough to heat a major metropolis like New York City or London for many years. Or fully power a small European country. Instead, it's just a gigantic, pointless torch in the desert. And it's not just about money. Burning such a massive volume of methane leaves an enormous environmental footprint. Methane itself is a potent greenhouse gas. And its combustion releases millions of tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere annually, contributing significantly to the planet's climate change. There have been numerous attempts to extinguish the gateway to hell to shut off the gas flow. But the immense scale of the crater and the complexity of its underground structure rendered all efforts futile. Nature, awakened by human error, proved stronger than the engineers. Darvaza isn't just a tourist attraction. It's a gigantic, blazing monument to human error. A reminder of how easily one can awaken forces that then become impossible to control. And of the colossal price we, as humanity, continue to pay for it, even today.